Welcome. It is almost 10 o'clock. Good morning. I hope everybody's ready for some Tai Chi this morning. <clears throat> I'm actually going to um, allow people to tune in, give you guys a little bit of time. Hopefully, um, we can start in a few minutes. I just want to give everybody a chance to tune in. I don't know if I'm a little bit early. And also, I wanted to read some of the people in the past couple of days. I've seen people that have tuned in and left uh, some messages, but I can't see them afterwards unless you leave a comment after the video. I can't see them. So I thought today I would spend a little bit of time um, taking, you know, saying hello and welcoming everybody and see if anybody has questions. And the beauty of this is that you can watch it afterwards, even, you know, when I'm not around, you can still watch it at your leisure. I hope some people start tuning in. I'll give you guys a few minutes. It's been an interesting couple of days. Obviously, with everything going on, now we are uh, mandated to stay home. Uh, so I can't go to work and I can't teach. So I figured I'd bring it to you guys from my living room, <laughs> from my humble home. That's what I always say. So um, I'm hoping that more of you are tuning in. I've actually gotten a very good response. I'm really happy that... Um, the first Tai Chi introduction was has already over 2,000 views, and the second one that I just did on Monday has over 1,000 views. So I really appreciate that. I hope that it brings you some calm and some peace and some exercise. It's very important for us to stay in shape during this time. I know that a lot of us right now are probably just still catching up and trying to decompress from our workload for so many months and this is the first time that we are so quiet you know and asked to stay still either that or everybody's sleeping late <laughs> but I just feel that it's very important for everybody to stay in shape during this time because once we go back to work you know we're gonna you know need our strength so Tai Chi is very important for us to keep our strength I'm also still walking I can still walk outside and incorporating uh, maybe some dumbbells or some, you know, weight, a little bit of weight bearing exercises. Remember that everything I teach is for uh, information purposes only. Always consult with your primary care doctor for any changes. Um, this is still beginner's Tai Chi, so nothing major, not, you know, you won't get hurt. Everything's very slow and just moving and getting the breath going, which is really one of the main things is breath work. This is what Tai Chi is really about is breath work and getting in tune with yourself. So um, I'm not quite sure if it's 10 o'clock yet. I think I started a little bit early. And I'm hoping that some of you will, I really wanted to say hello to some people. Yesterday, a lot of people tuned in from all over the world, and I was very pleased and happy to see that. And today, I don't see anybody yet, but I know that you all can watch it later, and it'll be saved. And hopefully, we can get through another 20, 15 to 20 minutes of exercise and Qigong exercises. Remember, Qigong exercises are breath work exercises. Qi is life energy. And so we're trying to move our Qi, our energy, and we all are very aware of it, of our energy. You know, when you're feeling low, you're feeling tired. You know, that's uh, your chi is low. We all have chi. Chi is exists everywhere. You know, it's part of our being, part of ourselves. It's not something that, oh, you are depleted. You can, you know, you, you always have it around you and in you. So it's important for you, like, if you are feeling tired, that maybe that's being aware of your chi. So if you're feeling tired, you need a little bit of, of energy, you know, you might want to do these exercises a little bit faster. And if you're just feeling like you're really hyped up and you can't wind down, then you might want to slow it down a little bit. 
So with that, I want to start now, and uh, we'll start with our Qigong exercises to begin with. I'm going to repeat some of the same ones so that you can uh, feel familiar still with some of them, and I will incorporate a couple more new ones. Uh, these are still very easy, you know, first, first level, um, just uh, introduction to Tai Chi. So let's get going. Let's get started. So uh, today I want to start with um, some breath work and being aware. Remember your Dantian. Remember your Dantian is about two inches below your navel and two inches within your abdomen. So you want to put your hands right here and just take deep breaths and be aware of your breath. You know, your feet are slightly apart. You know, maybe shoulder width apart, toes always facing forward. So let's take a few clean, deep breaths, you know. So inhale. And exhale slowly. And as you inhale, feel the air coming down, you know, through your lungs all the way down to your Dantian. And you should feel your hands, you know, moving once you breathe all the way down. So. Inhale, and exhale, let's do two more, inhale, and exhale, let's do one more, inhale all the way to your Dantian, and exhale, and so now let's do another one, and um, so your arms are on your sides laterally and you're gonna bring them up and up and then down like you're washing down pushing down all the negative all the bad thoughts if you're feeling stressed you know just push it all that down you exhale as you're going down your egg your inhale as you're going up and just gathering all that energy, bringing it down and pushing everything down. You can take a few more of these movements, just gentle and push down, washing everything down out of, off of you. And remember, if you if you feel lethargic and you feel like you need a little bit more energy, you can do them, you know, slower. And if I know, I apologize. If you need energy, do them a little bit faster. If you're too wound up, do them a little bit slower. So now we're gonna do this one again. We're just kind of uh, standing in place and getting our chi flowing. We did this one the other day. And I repeat a lot of the same ones just so that you can remember and remember to do them at home, you know, even when I'm not around, even when there's no one to remind you. Remember, Tai Chi is really, really good for you and it stimulates all the cells in your body. Right now we're loosening our glenohumeral joint and uh, just getting our heart pumping too. So now just walk in place, raise your left foot your right foot just walking in place getting all this energy flowing getting your heart rate up a little bit and if you need energy do them a little bit faster that's fine and if you are too hyper and too wound up slow it down okay so you always come back to your center now we're gonna do um, this one where you turn with a nice loose fist Tap your lung in the front, your kidney in the back, and just swing back and forth. Today I want to talk a little bit about the lung meridian. The lung meridian is uh, very important, especially during this time, you know, for us to stimulate our lung meridian. Our lung meridian originates, actually originates in the Dantian, and it goes up internally, and it ends right here at your thumb. So your thumb is the reflex to the lung meridian, and it's great to be giving a hand a thumbs up right now, especially, you know, uh, use your thumb, say, hey, thumbs up, because it'll stimulate the lung meridian.
So just do this. Like I said, each exercise can be done for about a minute or so, just to get your lungs and your kidneys. Lightly tap your kidneys in the back and your lung in the front. So each time we'll add a little bit of something and a little bit more information. Now remember, like if you've been pulled with a string to stand up straight, tuck in your chin lightly, tuck in your pelvis in and touch your the roof of your uh, mouth with your tongue. Keep that chi circulating within and focus on the Dantian. This is our center. And it's the center, not just for Tai Chi and martial arts, but even golfers, they know to, you know, to swing the ball, you know, with their hips. And so there's a lot of practices out there that already are conscious that this is our center, you know, and it's very important. This is our core. So let's do the one where you pass the ball forward, very gentle, and come back. You know, um, Chinese have the midnight noon law, and they break up all the major organs into two hour increments. Like lung time is at its prime between three and five o'clock in the morning. That's lung time. That's actually a very good time to meditate and do breath work during that time. Okay, go back. And then after that, between five and seven is large intestine time. And then between uh, seven and nine, I'm, yeah, it's stomach time. Between nine and 11 is heart time. Between 11 and one is small intestine time. Between one and three, let me see, no, that's small intestine. Between, I'm sorry, three and five, that is uh, bladder time. And then five and seven is kidney time. And seven and nine is um, triple warmer. And then 11 and one in the morning is gallbladder time. And then between one and three in the morning is liver time. And then it starts all over again with lung time between three and five o'clock in the morning. So this is called the midnight noon law. And the Chinese treat, um, you know, doctors treat everything, you know, according to this law, all the internal organs. You know, remember that everything is yin and yang, just like uh, vegetables are considered yin, they're cooler and easier to digest, and meat is considered yang, and you know, hot, and so I think the balance, they're always looking for the balance of everything, you know, some of the great chefs know this rule, you know, of the balance of the foods, and it's like that in everything, this is what I would like to pass on to you and teach you, that Tai Chi, everything is about balance, how we do, you know, uh, if we move forward, we're eventually going to come back. So anyway, I want to teach you a new exercise today. This one's called picking fruit. So you're reaching up and you're picking a fruit and coming back, bending your knees slightly as you come down and reaching up. This used to be one of my favorites too. So I'm remembering a lot of these exercises that are really good for you. So um, just reaching forward up, bending your knees. You're always working two things at once in Tai Chi. You know, if something goes up, it must come down. And the more intricate and aware you are of this, the more you balance your right and left brain and the nervous system. So we did that for about a minute. Let's do now our grinding corn, you know, shoulder width apart and you're just grinding and going back and forward. And remember to inhale and exhale as you go out, you know, as you come in, you inhale, as you go out, you exhale. Remember that everything's nice and loose. 
And this is the beauty about Tai Chi, that it is hard and soft at the same time, strengthens your legs, and yet your muscles, you know, need to also stay supple and uh, be able to be flexible and bend. You know, I remember learning this so many years ago that it is not the strong that survive or the smartest, it's the ones that can adapt, that are that survive even in nature. You know, it's like we must learn to adapt with all these new changes, and and I think this is what I was trying to say the other day about people that are really muscular on the outside. You know, we need to balance that with uh, you know being strong inside too. It's always a balance. It's okay to be strong, you know, on the outside, but. Balance that with being strong on the inside and having quiet time. I think during this time, it's so wonderful that has been given to us to really go within. We're so busy in our lives now that it has kind of been forced upon us to really be quiet and go within. And this is the perfect time for all of that. So let me see, which one have we not done? Uh, oh, okay. So like if you have balloons, just be raising your arms up and then come back down. And I guess, oh, I know one that our, our Sifu used to teach us is to smile within. I could never figure out what the heck he meant by smiling within. But you know, smiling actually relaxes your nervous system. So even just having a little smile within. Okay, now let's take it to the side, spreading the wings, you know, breathing in, out. In, out, inhale, exhale. And remember that your knees are always slightly bent. You never wanna do anything, you know, straight. Everything is in a circle, you know, in a motion. So now let's do the passing clouds just to remind us that this is a difficult time for a lot of us and that this too shall pass. You know, the sun came up this morning. It's shining somewhat. It was a little bit cloudy this morning, but just observe the clouds. Sometimes the clouds get really dark and you know that there's a storm coming and the storm, you know, is here right now. Not literally, but uh, figuratively. You know, we're all asked to do things that we're not used to doing, staying home, and it can be uncomfortable. A lot of people feel anxious and, you know, just observe it and watch it, watch it go by. Just like the clouds, you know, the clouds are gonna pass and the sun is gonna continue coming out and shining every day. So this is a good reminder for us to stay focused. And remember, you always come back to your center. And I see some of you are on welcome. I'm so happy to see people are watching and, you know, getting your exercise for the day. I want to do another one that opens up your spine. You know, remember, tuck your chin in slightly and tuck in your, your tailbone. Not, you know, in. Don't stick it out, but tuck in your tailbone. This forms a circle within, you know, within your body. Touch the roof of your mouth with your tongue and breathe down to your dantian. So I want to do this one where you um, you move back, stretch your, not, not, not difficult, just gentle, and come back and put your arms together and squeeze, bend your back just a little bit forward and then open up, look back, stretch and come forward, put your elbows together and this is Breathing of the spine. You're opening up your C1 through C7, T1 through T12, 
the lumbar area, one through five, your sacrum and your coccyx. So you're stimulating your vertebrae. So you always come back to your center. Now I want to do washing windows. This is another one I forgot about this one too, where you're just kind of flowing, washing the windows. And if you can, you know, just come down a little bit and sway back and forth. This will really strengthen your legs. You know, and like I said, if you need energy, you can go a little bit faster. If you have too much energy and you need to unwind, then just slow it down a little bit. I hope you guys have your home ready. You know, I'll be doing this again Friday at 10 o'clock. And my knees are creaking, I'm making all kinds of little noises. Remember to stay within you know, your, where you can see your toes, don't hyperextend your knees. These are all very gentle. You know, you can also push the energy up. Push and come back to your center. Push and come back. Push. And Qigong is breath work. So we're, the thing we're trying to do is coordinate our breath. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Okay, come back to your center. And that was the uh, Qigong exercises. Now let's go to the leaf form. And I'm going to go back over the same steps that we did the other day. So remember our salute, the teacher, encompassing the student. You always bow looking up, greeting everybody. And also it's the, you know, the yang encompassing the yin too. So you start with your salute to your Sifu or to everybody. And remember in Tai Chi, we don't have belts. There's no black belts, you know, we're all equal. So. Flow like water. Now you're gonna go, let your hands float up, back to shoulder uh, height, push down. Feel gentle, hands at your sides. Step out with the left foot, balance. Come back, and as you're coming back already, you want your fingers and your hands and your toes and your feet to end at the same time. Now you're going to gather celestial energy, moving up, looking at your fingertips. And then your hands float, come down, relax the shoulders, relax your knees, down to the Dantian, sit slightly. See, there's a nice circle here. There's a circle formed here. So, you know, you don't want to have uh, straight lines in Tai Chi. So you sit slightly. Now you're going to step with your right foot foot forward to the corner, back, inhale, push, come back with your, raise your toe up on your heel like you're holding a ball. Now you're going to lift up the right foot and turn it to this other corner and again your hands are going to be like this, like you're striking somebody over here to this side. Back, forward, back, forward, and back. And as you come back, you you raise your your toes, and then you come back. We're gonna go back to the single whip. And relax your shoulders. This is the single whip. Hand, right hand looking down. This hand up, shoulders relaxed, and a nice horse stance, okay? So let's do that again. And 
if you don't get it, that's okay. You know, it took me 18 years of practice to flow and to get it. And there's a lot of things to think about. And that's the beauty of Tai Chi is it gets you from inside your head thinking about too many things and really tuning in within your body and also coordinating outside of your body. So, you know, just take, we'll take it really slow again. So you're gonna let your hands flow up like you have balloons attached to them. Shoulder high, come down, push down. Hands at your sides, step out with the left. Come back, your hands and your feet should come together at the same time. Start looking, once it gets to about right here, you start looking at your fingertips. Follow them all the way up as far as you can and start relaxing your shoulders. The relaxation, your hands should be coming down because you relaxed your shoulders. Down into a nice circle, you kind of sit a little bit here. Now you're gonna lift up your right foot to the corner, strike. Inhale, exhale, back, raise your right toes, your toes, and right here, like you're holding a ball right here, you're gonna lift up this leg and turn it to the side. And at this, I did that too fast, actually, it should all be together. If my Sifu would see me now, he would cringe at all the mistakes I'm making. So you're holding a ball, you step, and you, you, land gently he would always tell us like a cat step like a cat notice how notice how kitties step notice how kitties walk you know so push and then we go back to the single whip okay that's as far as we're gonna go today i'm gonna turn away from you just so that you can see it from, you know, you can follow me this way because I know this is always easier. Notice if I was in the center for you guys. I'm trying to get a reference of where I'm at. I will do that again so you can follow me because it is, you know, easier when you can watch me and follow me because I know in the when I'm facing you, you're having to figure out, you know, which way is she going? Is she going right or left? So I'm going to go ahead and turn around again. We'll do it one more time. Namaste. <laughs> so
So that's our practice for today. And I wanna encourage you to do some of the Qigong exercises on your own. If you're feeling nervous, anxious, just need to focus again, you know, just go ahead and try them out. They're very easy. And I don't know the names to all of them. I apologize, I have forgotten a lot of the names, but you know, that's not important. What's important is for you to do the breath work, to go within and to calm yourself down. I do wanna let you guys know that I'm also gonna be teaching tomorrow live here, same time, same channel, 10 o'clock. I'm gonna be reviewing the skeletal system. I have decided that I do wanna start teaching and hopefully it will get to the muscles soon. Let's see when I have to go back and teach, but until then, I wanna at least teach once a week and I'm gonna start by reviewing the muscle, no, the skeletal system tomorrow. Next, next week will be the muscular system. We'll start with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for tuning in. I do see some people are on. You can, you know, I noticed that not a lot of people wrote because they were following me, which is great. I'm so ha happy to see that you guys were just following me and jumping in. Make sure you have your, your phone on by 10 o'clock. I'll give people a couple of minutes to log in, you know, but get your music ready. Get your, you know, your incense ready or your candles ready or your essential oils ready, whatever it is that you do to help you relax. And you're going to see that Tai Chi, the way I teach Tai Chi is a lot different than the way I teach in the classroom. I'm a little bit more yang when I teach uh, in the classroom and this is a little bit more yin. So I'll continue to teach you the difference and for you guys, what I want to do is empower you and show you so that you can, can start figuring this out on your own. You know, we need each other. I need you guys as much as, you know, you need to be here tuning in because it's, it's a give and take. It's a give and take, you know. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on Friday again. And if you want to review the skeletal system, tune in tomorrow at 10. Till the next time, create a great day.